seven o'clock in the morning blackberries are looking good so are the apples it's a lovely time to be up here moon is just going down nothing left of my cardoon plant the wind got it and finished it off completely have to think about that for next year this fruit bed was a bit of a disaster this year so I'm gonna to have to rethink what to do with this bed got plenty of fruit bushes so don't really need any more they look a bit sorry for themselves but a nice space to use you can see tidied up the loganberries pruned them all back got rid of the old canes and all the new canes are tied in now it's ready for next year's crop um, loganberries and taberries I believe very tasty I gave other allotment holders permission to take the berries because there's so many of them um, sweet corn it's magnificent you can see the tassels on the on the cobs forming There's a nice one. And I need to net this one. I have netted this one so that um, the um, it's mainly the magpies that come and eat the cobs and little mice and and rats. But there is this little black cat that comes and catches the mice. So hopefully there won't be too many mice around at the moment. So that looks good, but I need to finish off netting that now. The onions have not been brilliant, but I've got a crop from it. But I'll have to rethink that for next year, but these onions are from seed. There are a few there that are doing all right. Maybe with a bit of water, they'll continue to keep swelling up. So there's the leeks, they keep going. They're not the healthiest because they do get attacked up at the allotment by some fungal disease. But if you're persistent with them, they just keep growing and growing. And in January, February, March, they really swell out and that's when you get the best crop. So they'll be in for a long time now, but it'll be worth it. This is just green manure I put in here to freshen up this patch of soil. Um, parsnips looking good. Peas are finished, as you can see. I have to take them down and maybe save some of that seed for next year. And um, have a look underneath there and see if the moles have been at it. Potatoes are good, got a nice crop so far. But I need to store them because the slugs will start getting these potatoes if I leave them in the ground for too long, especially if it starts to get wet again. Um. <laughs> yep, the raspberries don't look great. I'm going to have to shovel a load of manure on that and mushroom compost and see if they can... There's a lot of fruit on there. The plants themselves don't look great. I know it's that time of year, but there should be lots of new healthy shoots coming up. I don't know what this is. Oh, that's mint coming up here. Just about to flower. It smells lovely, but it's a bit invasive. Um, strawberries got rid of all the runners because they take over the bed if you just let the runners run wild There's a few there coming up um, oh two <laughs> two red blueberries 
That's all that, that bush has produced is two berries. <laughs> and um, these are, these two are not doing too bad, but the moles have been at them. So I have been doing something about it, so they are recovering, but they should be twice the height that they are. Never mind. Two bins that can have maybe potatoes next year, but they've got green manure in it. Look at that green manure. It's done better than anything that's ever grown in that bin. <laughs> Never mind. What have we got here? Oh, asparagus. Hopefully next year I'll be able to pick some some asparagus. Beetroot there. Oh, and the Jerusalem artichokes are beautiful. They are supposed to be sunflower type flowers. Nothing to do with Jerusalem, but... Um, some more mint there. Pineapple mint, this one. Mm, it does smell a bit sweet. So carrots underneath there that are okay but it's been so dry um, and these runner beans have been a bit of a disaster there just haven't got going they're just beginning to one or two but they're so late but these rattlesnake pole beans are looking good and they taste nice and they're not stringy at all so even with just a couple of plants they're um, they're producing quite a reasonable crop so can't complain cucumbers have just stopped producing I've just had two cucumbers off those two plants and or three and then they've stopped producing. I think they're just beginning to get going again. There's my broccoli. And these poor old pumpkins. They're just beginning to get going, but so late. There you go. Carrots in there. More pumpkins. One in. Um is some um, kale that's looking really good and the dahlias and are really doing well beautiful flowers the black currants are finished so I've taken the netting off that and the tithonia here so they these black currants will need pruning. Just had a bit of an interlude talking to some people who are <laughs> admiring the dahlias. Sunflowers are just finishing. I think that's probably because the ground is so dry over there. But the birds will like the seeds and they'll probably produce more plants next year. These black currants, I haven't used them all because there were just too many. I've picked several kilos, but I haven't used them all. There's still some on the bushes, but I've taken the netting off to put on the on the sweet corn. Um, because um, it needs protecting. <laughs> they were admiring them. <laughs> a heap of mushroom compost that can have to start shifting at some stage, but there's no hurry. So in the little greenhouse, let's have a look. So the the Italian cucumber is just beginning to get going, but it'll probably be too late. This Delhi star cucumber is starting to produce again, but still not much. It's puzzling, puzzling. This one's just beginning to get going again. And I think it's been the moles. They've been terrible in here. 
Dickens. I found a great big tunnel down there. But can't complain. We've had lots and lots of cucumbers this year. Tithania is magnificent. <laughs> His flower patch is wonderful. So we're in the polytunnel, as you can see. I can't complain about cucumbers. I think that'll have to go to Rog. There are more down there. Some more gherkins coming on. Oh, that one's got a bit big to take that one. Tomatoes are coming on nicely and they're um, cropping. Yeah. Some to pick. And here that dragon's breath or dragon's tooth chilies they look magnificent <coughs> and melon in there and a melon there which is and some tomatoes so in amongst that there may be more melons, but I think there's another one there. Oh, there's two more there. One, two. So that's four melons at least. Oh, well. that's good. Now there has a has been a report from somebody else on the allotment that tomato blight is starting these look a bit worse for wear but they are tomatoes that are supposed to survive the blight so I'm hoping that even if they do get affected that we'll still get a good crop of tomatoes we're not doing too bad so far anyway so this is not supposed to be here, are you? Hmm, get rid of you in a minute. And these courgettes are a real puzzle. Look at the leaf on it, but hardly any courgettes. So I think that courgettes are going to be grown outside in the future, not in the polytunnel. Well, I'll have to look very carefully at the variety. More chilies coming on there. Rocket has been wonderful. Oh, let's have a look at the aubergine before we go. I've only got 